Welcome back. So now we've finished the theory on autonomous databases. We are going to do a lab. In this lab, we are going to provision a autonomous data warehouse, which is this part. Then what we are going to do is download a developer tool called SQL Developer. The SQL Developer uh, will be a tool which will help us connect to the autonomous data warehouse. Through this tool, we can uh, load data from the object storage into the database. We'll create an object storage. We would load raw data into it. And then through SQL Developer, we are going to load data into the, the autonomous data warehouse. Once that is done, we are going to query the tables where we just loaded the data. And uh, through again, this is going to happen through SQL Developer. Uh, there are other tools also you can use, like third party tools, but we are going to just stick with the standard uh, Oracle tools. So uh, let's uh, go to our console and uh, provision a autonomous data warehouse. So we've all seen this uh, screen before. So from the menu, earlier the menu used to be up here. Uh, they've changed the menu. We are from the menu. We are going to go to autonomous data warehouse. And we are going to say, create an autonomous data warehouse. You can name this uh, uh, your first uh, ADW. This is a display name, the data na database name also, you could keep it the same. Here you get the option to increase the capacity for the core, CPU core. We are going to stick with the default of one as we are not going to have that kind of data activity. Storage also, you can do the same. Uh, keep in mind, every time you increase the capacity, you're going to pay for that. So, so the more capacity, the more your billing is going to be. The other thing is you need to provide your credentials. So like we saw in the earlier videos, when we created a compute instance, the default was uh, a different user. Now we are going to use admin. So this is the default user it creates every time you create an autonomous data warehouse. So keep that in mind. The user is going to be admin. And so the next few steps where we are going to create a wallet to access also, that is going to require password. Generally, those passwords have to be different. That's the idea. You make it more secure. But in my case, and maybe for you, for just for this lab, you can keep all the all those password same, so you, it's easy to remember. And if you want to keep them different, just write it down somewhere. And here we, there is an option. If you already have the license, you can use that, so they you don't pay for the license. But in our case, we don't have that, so we are going to say provide us with the license, and definitely they're going to charge us for that. And we are going to say create data warehouse. Now, this takes a while. So uh, let's stop here. And uh, I'll join back once it's created.